Once upon a time, I was sitting down, much like you right now, watching a YouTube video. And I heard the creator say, This video is sponsored by Squarespace. And I thought, that's cool. And then I kept watching. And then I watched another video. And once again, I heard them say, Squarespace is your all-in-one place on the internet to build a website from, from A to Z. They've got these insanely professional templates, so you don't need to know how to code, but you can still have something that looks professional. And then it finally dawned on me. Maybe I should consider making my website with Squarespace. So that's what I did. And it was easy. It didn't take me very long. And it made a really nice impression. But then, after a while, I started to notice some quirks that just weren't quite fitting my needs. Hey guys, my name is Angela, and today I'm going to tell you why I switched my website host from Squarespace to Tilda, and why maybe you might consider doing the same. So one of the quirks that I mentioned that isn't really Squarespace's fault at all was the fact that I was trying to incorporate my podcast into my digital media production company's business website. And as I started to get more serious with podcasting and say, hey, I really want to scale this up and make it have its own dedicated online space, I realized it needed its own website. So I really wanted to have two websites. Um, and then as I kept going and I started getting speaking engagements and I made a video about how I got my first speaking engagement and I'll link that up here. Um, I started to notice, hey, um, maybe I should have a personal website that talks about all the things that I do, including running a company, running a podcast, and being a guest speaker. And so that expanded my need for two websites to three websites. And I really wanted to have a space that would also just allow me a little more functionality in incorporating a few more moving elements, some different button types, and just some things that could kind of set my website apart and really take it to the next level from a design perspective. I think Squarespace's claim to fame and why I was really drawn to Squarespace to begin with, in addition to hearing it from, you know, great YouTubers, was that, you know, it has a lot of integrations and the templates are really just drag and drop. They're super easy to use. It really doesn't take long uh, to make a great website on Squarespace, and I think that's awesome. And by integrations, I mean their integration with Printful. If you want to have your own, you know, merch store, they have an integration with MailChimp. So if you want to link your subscribers to your MailChimp account, you can do that fairly easily. All these things are super great. And I really love that about Squarespace. Um, but I think I just wanted a little bit more. Uh, again, in addition to having three different websites, I really wanted um, some different options for backgrounds and layouts and things like that. I was searching around for a little bit. I came across Webflow, but I just kind of, I'm not a website designer. Let's be clear. I'm not a website designer. So I really wanted to have something with a less drastic learning curve for me. And uh, I really felt like no code was still the option that I wanted to go with. And I came across Tilda somehow and fell in love with it. I think Tilda is a great medium between Squarespace and Webflow. If you've already created a website with Squarespace before, you have some experience with you know how a system works and how you kind of want things to lay out and that sort of thing. And Tilda just kind of takes that to another level in terms of your options. Um, and then Webflow is just like a free for all. You can do whatever you want if you know how to make it. <laughs> so that's really awesome and that's really cool. Um, but I wasn't really sure how to structure my online business hub with Webflow. So I ended up going with Tilda. Um, and so Tilda for me has just been super easy to use. It's been great in having my digital space be organized and really does have just enough integrations for me that I'm still satisfied with that part of my needs. So uh, for me, being able to have you know multiple different types of forms for newsletter signups, different options for buttons, um, different options for moving elements that just make the website a little more dynamic, a little more fun to engage with, um, just really makes me very happy as a person. And um, I think it makes the experience for people who are using my website happy as well because they can get to where they're going pretty fast. The layouts and things like that are really easy to work with. And um, I just feel like it's a really straightforward platform. And again, the biggest asset of all that being that I can have three websites on one plan. Their business plan allows for up to five websites on that plan for about the same as I was paying per month using Squarespace. So pricing really isn't a deterrent at all either. 
Um, and I'm obviously a big proponent of having a website. No matter who you are as a creator, you need your own space off of social media where you can direct people to all the services that you offer, the products that you provide, and learn more about the work that you're doing and how uh, they can get in touch with you. So that's just my quick and dirty wise move to Tilda and how that experience has been for me. And if you're considering uh, using a new website platform, I'm here to t tell you this video is not sponsored by Tilda, but I still think you should check it out if you're looking for a slightly more customizable online hub for your business or creative passion. All right, that's it for me. If you got some value out of this video, I'd greatly appreciate it if you gave this video a like, hit the subscribe button for more information on the digital tools that I use that I would recommend and hope that you check out as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one.